Welcome to Keith and the Girl. I'm Keith Malley. I'm Chemda. The Keith and the Girl anniversary is next week. We've been podcasting since 2005. Hoo-hoo. 12 years of Keith and the Girl. Crazy. So we ask, how long have you been listening? How many episodes do you listen to a week? No matter what your answer, thank you. Not to be rude if you were thinking about it, but thank you. And thank you for letting us be your podcasters. Uh, Thanks for downloading the episodes. Thanks for sharing them. We, of course, can tell when you do that. Join us online April 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern for the 24-hour Keith and the Girls Show Marathon. You know, this is like one of my favorites, and it happens every year. Past marathons, you know, we've had Hannibal Burris, Mara Wilson, Lisey Garrison, Kevin Allison. And uh, we're starting the book for April 16th. So go to keithandthegirl.com slash marathon. Information will be there. Reach our funding goal. Uh, we're hoping to reach it by our anniversary, the goal. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about if it's confusing. And of course, the funding goal this year is not monetary. We want to see just how many supporters we can get. So you could literally support it $1. All right. So thanks for checking it out. And again, thank you very much for listening. Keithandthegirl.com slash marathon. Today's guest has been a semifinalist on NBC's Last Comic Standing. Co-hosted three seasons of Exhale. She's been on the Ellen DeGeneres show, Comedy Central's Live at Gotham, NFL Network, VH1. Returning to Keith and the Girl, Aaron Jackson. Hello, Aaron. Hey, hey. Aaron was just doing another uh, cruise. Last time we talked to you, you just came off doing stand-up on a cruise. I swear I don't only do that. It's just <laughs> really weird that you guys only booked me then. It's a very funny coincidence. Yeah, it is. I promise. Remind me, is it weird to perform on a cruise and then you're stuck with these people for days? Oh, it's horrible. This last cruise, they hated me. And really? I performed um, the first night. And it was like, well, I'm just going to just stay in my room anyway. I had work to do. So I just, yeah, I kind of hung out by myself in my room. Is it, Are you too caustic for a cruise? <laughs> I'm not even caustic. But, man, the cruise line I work for is like really, really old people. And it gets older in the winter. And so it's just old and conservative. And even the stuff that I know, I know works. Right. They just weren't having it. It, so, was, it and, was rough. And you're the first night, and that's it. You do one night, and then you could just cruise. Yeah, three shows the first night. Ooh, and, that's uh, a lot of shows. Yeah, three shows, um, three solo shows. And uh, yeah, and that was it. So can you see, so the three shows, it just, there's just people piling, because that's what the thing is to do that night. Right, right. So basically, they're going blindly into a stand-up show, and everyone's sense After of humor is After traveling different. all day, uh, and they're 85. Right. Um, but or, they weren't having it. But do you think your audience happens to be at the gem showing and have to collect all the trinkets <laughs> on the island and and that's who you need to see your show there's a lot no. to compete with or maybe you're competing with how to fold napkins <laughs> there's there's nothing <laughs> happening then. literally nothing happening i didn't say they weren't there i said they right. hated me okay <laughs> <laughs> can you actually feel them hating you oh yeah, yeah. It, it's palpable like i just was like no this this joke killed i just want to tell them like this killed on tv right nbc loved it and then you have to repeat the same show and that's the thing much- so because you you never know how many shows you're gonna have to do on a ship because they'll they'll flip it around so you want to save material and then you want to make sure you don't because you know as a comedian something's not working you want to go to the other stuff right? right but then you have to be careful like if i go to too much other stuff i've already used that so if they ask me for another show I don't have that accessible, so you got to stick to what they hated, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's just it was it was just one of those weeks, man. Well, I haven't s- had too many bad shows on cruises, but I, that whole that whole day. Would you recognize somebody that was at your first show, hated it, come to the second show, and do you ask them just to go to the casino, please? Uh, I w- <laughs> they they I wouldn't recognize any of them. Okay, they just all were eighty five. <laughs> do you where was this cruise to uh this cruise was to the southern caribbean so we went to uh, i've never heard someone be more upset to go to the southern caribbean no i wasn't upset i was not upset it just you know what it because it becomes like when people think oh that's an awesome job i'm like yeah until it's your job until you have to do it you know when you don't want to, not we don't want to i'm grateful to have work right yeah, yeah. <laughs> will you get off the cruise and to collect uh, oh, the yeah. charms <laughs> not charms <laughs> there's a new railroad charm now oh yeah out. oh yeah yeah yeah. in the caribbeans and so what happens if anybody doesn't know you they have this little class and they explain to you when you get off on this island on your excursion go to this jewelry store they'll give you a free charm oh. you know it's 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 cheap bullshit but it's so that you get in the store and they're like right. so your goal today 
will be to collect all five charms. Nah, this one uh. has the whale charm. This one has the whatever charm. And a, a totally different place will give you the bracelet that you connect the charms to. And this again, is, it's, it's obviously trash. It's crazy to me because I had never been on a cruise before I worked on a cruise, right? And it wouldn't be the way that I would choose to travel. Right. But like these people, like they cruise many, many times a year, right? And then they're like... It's, it's it's like they come on the cruises, they spend the money for the cruises and all that other stuff. Then they go and buy $12,000 jewelry on right. the cruise. I'm like, you're on a boat. Like, you came to the boat to buy, I don't know. Right, and Iceland does not have jewelry that I can't get in New York. <laughs> right, there's it's nothing. It's a scam. I just, well, that's crazy to me. That trinket thing, the jewelry thing, it reminds me of what I used to do when I did kids' parties. Like, when I wanted, when we made a big mess because either we had a ball pit with all those balls and ev- all the balls are everywhere, or... My equipment was, you know, laid out across the lawn and just because, you know, we're using it, I used to be like, okay, let's see who can pick up five things and bring it (laughs) in. Right, right. And it's like, well, there's not enough for everybody to pick up five things, so you better hurry up. (laughs) Just go collect my shit. And they loved it. Yeah. My wife and I, we went to Iceland and we're all, everybody's getting off uh, the boat and you can hear people mumble about jewelry. They're very excited about this. (laughs) And so I said... Iceland's all out of jewelry, actually, in front of the jewelry <laughs> seller on the boat. And she goes, that is not true. There's no. a lot of jewelry. And I go, that's not what I heard, everybody. And she goes, no one ever said that to you. Iceland has a lot of jewelry. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. She was not pleased. Oh, <laughs> now I think they're all gone this yeah. trip. That is not true. You'll see. There's plenty of jewelry. Well, she should have started being like, there's not a lot. You better get it while it's hot. Right, right. right. You watch those fanny she packs run. sales. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help her. Right. There's only three jewelries left. <laughs> That's how you gin up demand, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's so strange because I love the idea of cruises. And we actually went on the Keith and the Girl cruise. We, like, attached ourselves to a bigger cruise. And then we got to do, like, you know, special Keith and the Girl organized stuff on the boat. And I, I got to say, that's the way to travel because I fell in love with cruises, you know, because I think you get your own. Well, we did get kicked out of all the regular boat things that usually happen. So maybe mm. maybe I just that like when we me. all hang out. We have this album. It's called <laughs> Keith and the Girl Live on a Big Boat. And we, you, we get kicked out of karaoke day one. <laughs> karaoke. You've been to karaoke. All Absolutely. those people should be kicked out. Only us. You cannot be any kind of edgy on a cruise. <laughs> I know. Yes. It could be that the Brumsky brothers pull down their pants, but I think they were ready for us to leave before that. Man. They don't like when people get excited or excitable. I don't know who you cruise with, but like whatever you experience, <laughs> it's 10 times that on the cruise line that I work on. It's just like I did a week like I, I did a week at the at the election and it's just right. like I was like, oh, my God, get me back to New York. So I could just talk about what has happened in this world because I can't talk about any of those things. And I was in there like, you know, and they give you like four channels. It's like you get um, oh, right. uh, MSNBC, Fox News, CNBC and BBC News. That's the only live TV you can watch. So that's all I have to see. And I can't say anything about it. I was like, oh, my God, if I don't get off the ship, I'm, I'm going to jump off. Holy shit. What, what do you think like one of the worst things you said during your stand up that turned them off the most? Is? I don't do it. I literally, it's not that I turn them on. I just, I stay away from when it. When they hated itching. you this time, I mean. Oh, <laughs> the same shit I say all the time. That's hilarious, guys. <laughs> it's not like I said something out of the ordinary. They just didn't like me. Mm. They didn't like any of this. I was like, I don't know what else. This, these are the jokes, right. guys. These are the only ones that I brought. But I mean, obviously, when you get off stage, you just blend right in. So you can just walk around. The I'll cruise. tell you, I did not blend it on that cruise. <laughs> believe me. I was very, very visible I'm on every cruise on that line. You know, she's just trying to eat. You're eating right next to the person. who's like, I just want you to That's know. That's the thing. I don't think your eyes are unnerving. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know why you put yourself down. No, I ordered. Do you know how much room service I ordered on this cruise? I literally did not want to eat around these people. I'm like, well, if you don't like me, then I won't hang out with you. Yikes. It's really bad. Yikes. It's bad. Then she'd walk around the cruise. That comic, huh? (laughs) Just to fit in. I'm just going to tell you, they all knew I was the comic, (laughs) even if they couldn't see me. There's something about me that's a little different from everybody else in the gym. I I, I get that from your stand-up. You don't like um, public displays of affection, Hate right? It. Drives you crazy. So you've got to see that on a cruise, right? It's romance. Oh. Yeah, but it's it's more family, isn't it? I'm telling you. Oh, good. I don't work for like. There's no lovebirds. I mean, they're lovebirds, okay. but they're 85, so they're not really doing. I see. You know, 
lovey dovey stuff. They're not doing lovey dovey stuff, so it's 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 fine. But when I see it, it still makes me cringe. You met a gentleman on the last cruise I when did. you were here. I did. And you guys got married. We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> does, he, does he get nervous that you're going to go on another cruise? Because he knows that's where you pick up people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have to worry about him anymore because he is black history. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like the month, guys. Like the month. Uh, yeah, that, that didn't work out real well. You kept in touch after the cruise. We, we, we definitely kept in touch. Were you planning on keeping in touch? after the, I, I got the sense that it was like very cruisy and that was fun. And It was. And then. I um, think we just made a mistake by trying to carry that on. Mm. Like it was just, it should have been confined. Confined. <laughs> yes. It should have stayed on the ship. Where'd it go wrong? Um, well, he, he, he kept calling me. Like actual calling? Yeah, like that's probably what went wrong. Like dialing? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I don't mean he called me too much. Just the, the fact that we just, I, I, right. He just wasn't. I hear you. Mm-hmm. Well, that's life on the open water. It you know? is. It's, yeah. it's, you know, you get married and sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> right you just here. get married again. <laughs> but when you were about to go on this cruise, were you like, you know what? We did good on the cruise. Let me give him my plus one. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. No. Huh? <laughs> but, uh, well, when, when you were here last in August, we were talking about how Kenda's husband gave her what he called a cancer kit. It was the infectant spray, weed yes, pills, you I know, a whole, whole bunch of stuff going on. And you mentioned that you never smoked pot, but you really wanted to. Oh my God, guys, I have an update. Okay. I have not smoked pot. <laughs> but, but, but I have become a fan of edibles because they make them with candy, guys. There's All candy right. you can eat and get high. Did you know this? I'm really good at eating candy. Don't know how to smoke or inhale or blow it out, but gummy bears, I can fucking do that. Sour Patch Kids. So right. I, um, I, I, I know a guy now okay. who gets me candy. That gets me high. He would love looking at your face right now. <laughs> you are so excited. I just, I just, I mean, I didn't even know. I got one. It was like podcast people. It was like this big. Right. And I didn't know you're not supposed to eat it all. Like you're supposed to break it up. I'm like, I didn't know you had to like cut. Yeah. Why here. don't, what? Why don't they just make it the size that you just eat one? But right. anyway, I had to cut his little head. I'm like killing it. <laughs> like I'm cutting his little head off and cutting his torso. But they're like, no, you can't eat the whole thing. But I tell you, man, I'm kind of out right now. But um, it's a thing, and I did it, and I really like it. How did how do you like it? Like I mean, you... I get it, I get why it's different. I didn't know like what the difference was like between like I drink, so mm. but it's it's quite different. Do you just lay in bed and and melt into it? That's what I do. I end up <laughs> mental. Well, I I did a lot because I was I was experimenting. Like, well, what if I had a drink? What if I, you know, right. and I, I mean, I was. These are long form experimental things because you have to wait an hour before anything kicks in. See, this is what happened. The first time I tried it, my best friend, my, my best friend that I I, ta- I said on the podcast, I called her name and said she never lets me try. We went to um, <laughs> this fall. We went to a concert. We went to a bad boy reunion concert. OK. And the next day she took off because we were old. And so she was tired. And um, she had some at the house. She never even told me there was candy weed. Right. So uh, so we do it. We were sitting in her <laughs> living room. And I'm like, I don't think I'm high. I don't think I can get high. I think maybe right. that's the problem the whole time. I've been around people who smoke. I never got contact. I'm not high. Was that like five seconds after you swallowed? Well, pretty You're much. Like, it's not working. And I knew I had a show that night. And I didn't know I was high until I was like, she was laughing at me. Because I was like, okay, what time is my show? Okay, I have to backtrack. Like, what time it is? What time should I leave? And I was like, okay. So right now it's 10. And my show is at five. So I was like, 11, 12, 4, <laughs> 5. And she was like, did you hear yourself? And I was like, huh, what? And then I stood up. And I was like, and then parched. Right. And I was like, oh, my God, this is what it's like. So, guys, I'm cool now. <laughs> I've you- been high. I've been high, like, maybe, like, four or five times now. All right. It's been pretty good. Did You liked it every time? I did. I liked it every time. You look very excited about I it. I do. I just remembered that I loved it when you said that. And now I want to do it again. Well, what, what was so exciting about it? Well, I just liked, I mean... <laughs> So I complete, but I mean, I just, I get, I get it. It was nice. It was like mellow, woozy. yeah, mellow. And then you don't have like a full belly. Right. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's not like you drank a whole bunch of liquor and, uh, do you get silly on it? Do you get, I don't get silly with contemplating. No, I think I just, yeah, maybe, maybe melt is the good, is a good way. Right. Like I just felt like this. Like zony, yeah. like chilling, yeah, closing the eyes. Yeah, I, w- I, w- girl now. I wouldn't know what was said Bad before girl. the very last thing that was said. Ah. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's like right. we got to keep this conversation going, or we're yeah. done. Yeah, 
Oh my God. I don't, I know this is probably off topic, but I was thinking, so I guess a couple of weeks ago you had posted. She's pointing at me. Something. Yeah. You posted some, they, somebody had used a picture of you in some scam or. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. What I, was that? My picture was used for uh, a fake profile. A fake profile. And then for it like got in the news. Boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend thing. Okay. Yeah. So it made me think when About I was cheating. driving over here because, so I have a girlfriend who's a sociologist and she travels all over like, um, Latin America, um, and anyway, so she's in Ghana now, and um, she was driving down the street. She sends me this picture. She's like, oh, my God, look what I saw in Ghana. It is a billboard with my face on it. No. An advertisement for a, a company that sells lighting, maybe like lighting fixtures in Ghana. Wow. It's a picture, a headshot I took years ago, and I, people will steal it from time to time. It's like a really, like I'm like, I'm like making home alone face. And it's a good picture, but I don't use it anymore. It's like a silly, like old right. headshot from, you know, and she sees she's in Ghana driving down the street. She asked the guy to pull over so she could take a picture of it. Right. So then I did. Um, so then I, I thought, what is the, crazy. By, by the way, we'll put this on the website if yeah, we yeah, can yeah. get it. But I have a picture of it. Is the, are you new lighting? I can't believe right. it. I mean, pretty much. I'm just I'm the center of the picture. And then there's stuff around me. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's advertising a big sale. And uh and so there's that. So she just happened to be a friend of mine who happened to see it in Ghana and took a picture. So then I thought, Oh my God, you reverse Googled like it. Like a month before something had happened where somebody had put the same picture for a cafe in North Carolina. And my, my girlfriend of mine who lives down there in Charlotte was like, are you going to be performing at this, ca- th- this cafe? I'm like, what are you talking about? She sends me the picture, somebody else. Right. So then I, yeah, I reverse Google catfish my picture all over Africa. I mean, <gasps> East Africa, West Africa, everybody used my picture. Like, the phone companies, like the cell, the big cell providers in, um, in, uh, I can't remember what countries now, but yeah, right. two different countries. It's like, like so they're Verizon. It's time to tour in Africa. No, it's time to get paid. <laughs> so I literally, I consulted a lawyer. I'm like, how much will it cost for me to, to, to like go after these people? I, I'm going to these people's website there. These are big companies. And the amount of money that would have cost me to even have her tell me what it was going to cost me was more than I could pay. She was like, I have to come in for a conversation, then I can tell you how much it's. I was like, no, I, I couldn't do it. Did you only call one lawyer or only get a Well, I, 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 I kind of did, and I had another lawyer give me like some language for like a cease and desist, uh-huh. like if I could do it myself. But they're in Africa. Like I probably am not going to do it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, but like company, big companies are not. There, there are some in Africa, but there are, don't they have like a local branch or something? Maybe. Maybe I need to go back to that. But it reminded me of that when I was driving oh over. God. I remind, remembered your thing. But I have to show it to you. It's crazy. Right. Well, this sounds like that movie, Searching for Sugarman. It's an American musician that, old if not dead, and did not become successful at all until somebody does a documentary and realizes in South Africa he's huge. That's hilarious. Yeah, so who knows what they're talking about over there, but you're selling shit. I am. Good Holy Like, I fuck. want a piece of that light and money. Give me that light money, right. Ghana. <laughs> you know what? Light and money. You know what's like the- And it's like stage lighting stuff, too. It's not like it's not like right. your lamps. It's like theater, like theatrical lighting and stuff like that. You might not get anything from that, but all these like yeah. bigger companies, right. you know what I mean? Well, I think- I think that I would also give up. It's like everyone just goes, oh, Sue, it's so easy. Like, right. you know, there's all these lawyer company, like uh, law firms that will. I make $35 a set, guys. Right. And the, <laughs> the pro bono people are not as easy to like right. all that shit, whatever. But in this day and age, right, can't you post something on social media to be like found another one of me um, and then at AT&T or at whatever you're That's using true. this illegally. That's like the easiest way. And then outrage and then attention and then that kind you're of thing. You're smarter than I am because I didn't even think of that. That's Somebody why, that's why I come that. to the show every six months. <laughs> <laughs> For legal advice. Come on, guys. <laughs> Can you believe, you know what? We mentioned this at the beginning of the show, of course. But 12 years doing uh, Keith and the Girl. I was just at my uh, the doctor's. And, uh, you know, talking about my knees. Oh, they're, they're fantastic if you're curious. And you have actually been talking about this for 12 years on our show. Yeah, right. Yeah. 14 right. years with the amount that I know you. Your knees. <laughs> so he goes, and do you still have the same jobs? You're, you do uh, radio and you're a waitress? I'm like, I've been here five years. You know what? Who gives a shit? Yes. He doesn't know who's trans in our world. Yeah. That's okay. I go, yeah, I'm a librarian and a giraffe. Yes. <laughs> Just give me more pills and I'll see you in a year. <laughs> Oh my god! I hate telling doctors what I do. Yeah, I, yeah. I want them to know, like I can tell on them. Right, I kind of want them to know until I, 
have to say the word that I like. I'm always excited when somebody asks me what I do for a living until I have to like figure out which version of it I have to tell mm-hmm. them. Right. Because there are people where I'm like, you're younger, you get it, like you know what podcasting is. So I just say I'm a podcaster. And then, and that's usually where I go. But when I say the key, uh, I'm a co host for a talk show, like, no way. Like, I used to say that when nobody knew what podcasting was. And then you'd have to like reverse, like, oh, where can I find you? And that's the thing. If someone's older, and you say, like, I have a talk show. They're like, where can I find you? And if you want to see lights being dimmed so quickly, mm-hmm. you tell an older person it's somewhere on the Internet that's not Facebook. Do you know what I mean? It's just like it's a podcast. Stop asking me questions and it'll stop. Right. Yeah. I say CBS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I fucking that. should. Yeah. I should. Eight, o- eight o'clock tonight, your house. <laughs> it's the same fuck? way with like online <laughs> dating and stuff too. I'm like, I'm not telling you that I'm that I'm a comedian because then you're gonna try to find me. Right. You're gonna mm. Google me, and then I'm not gonna know anything about you yet. And you're gonna be able to that's... know everything I said about every other shitty guy I dated already. And right. now you're not gonna want to date me. Ooh, that's a good point. Uh, it's on the internet, but don't listen to Doctor Fridays. Okay, <laughs> that's my only recommendation. Thank you, moron. <laughs> I do want to mention this. Harry's razors. You look at me and you're like, Keith, how do you keep your skin so smooth? I use Harry's razors. I don't go to the store and pay $6 million after begging them to open up the theft-proof thing. No. You're not tricking me with another. This one has a vibrator and this one has a lasers. I just need good, honest razors for good, honest money. That's all. Five German engineer blades they have in this razor set I'm going to tell you about. Lubricating strip. Flex hinge for a comfortable glide. Trimmer blade for hard to reach places. Your business. Weighted ergonomical handle. That's science, I bet. (laughs) All this for just $2 a blade. That's sick, yeah. Yeah, compare that to what you pay at the drugstore. Do it, compare it. Harry's is so confident in the quality of their blades, they want you to try their most popular trial set for free. It comes with a razor handle of your choice, five blade cartridge, and shaving gel. Free when you sign up. Just pay a small fee for shipping. Redeem your offer by going to Harry's, H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash K-A-T-G. Do that right now. Harry's dot com slash K-A-T-G. Just check that off your list. Done. And and a great gift, of course. Comes yeah, in a nice box. I don't know why you wouldn't do it. That's right. If you want, you can email us why you're not doing it, because I don't get it. We'll probably get like no emails. Now, big news today in uh, Hollywood. Either Bill Paxson or Bill Pullman died. Hollywood's not really sure which one, but they're still looking into it. Either way, uh, the person was young, and it was complications from surgery. I'm so going sad. to assume Bill Paxson, just so we can name one of them. Uh, you know him. Game over, man. Game over. He's in the... It's. I played these uh, first-person video games, and it's funny when you realize how many legitimate actors and actresses are in video games now. Uh, Kit Harrington is in the latest uh, Call of Duty, just like Bill Paxton is. Uh, you know, he's the brooding boar from Game of Thrones that everybody loves. I, it, it's just odd. But also, you'll know him from Twister, Big Love. He was wife number three. <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow uh, is such a funny movie. He's the drill instructor. I didn't put him together from Big Love to anything else, and I've seen some yeah. of the stuff that he's mm-hmm. in. He got so much more good looking as an older person. He's yeah, in Weird a- Science, he's the bully brother. And yeah, he definitely grew up better looking. Yeah, which is amazing. And also, on Big Love, I saw more of his ass than his face, so it was a little unfair. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Titanic, he was the door at the end. I mean, this guy is good. <laughs> Apollo 13, his line was, I'm so hungry I can eat the ass of a, out of a rhinoceros. There's an ass theme happening here. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Tombstone, he was the Earp brother that first became a sheriff. And the pizza. Mm-hmm. And the tombstone <laughs> pizza. This guy's good. He does a lot of flatware. Yeah. 61. Flat 61 years old. Wow, that is young. Judge Wapner passed away as well. Joseph Wapner. That was the first reality show television. Wait, Joseph was his name? Joseph. Never even considered that he had a first name. Yep. <laughs> it was judge. judge. He's like, I got to go to school for it. <laughs> and he was a real judge. Like sometimes you don't know nowadays. But right. uh, he was a judge in L.A. for 20 years, then did the show for 12 years. The People's Court. You know, you know who loved that? Rain Man. Loved the People's Court. In fact, they asked him for a comment. He's like, because he needed that show badly. Uh, Joseph was hospitalized last week with breathing problems and his condition worsened. He was taken to his West L.A. home Friday under hospice care. You know that. 
Uh, that means death. And he died Sunday morning. He was married to his what wife. What if he just like told everybody, told somebody that the hospice care is that, and they just put somebody in hospice care? Right. <clears throat> you know what I mean? He's married to, to his wife, Mickey, for 70 years. Oh, wow. Uh, three kids. For how long? 70. He was 97. So he wow. got married. Well, I'm, I'm not going to ask Aaron to do the math. But why? Because I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It's... I, just, I don't know the last time you took edibles. That's all. <laughs> Five is two, six is three. And I'm high as fuck. <laughs> got married when he was 34. I could do math. OK. <laughs> I don't think I don't that's know. true. Yeah, well, all right. I don't think he's over a hundred. <laughs> I don't think so. Guys, guys. <laughs> I was reading a story about this uh this guy he in Queens and uh he ran into somebody's he knocked on the door of somebody's apartment, ran in, goes, You have a balcony, you have a balcony, kinda of pushed his way in, went to the balcony. No, 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 no. Jumped off to kill himself. Great. Had to include somebody else. That's really fucked up. And you know what? Something similar <laughs> Not the killing part, but something similar happened to me recently. I I had a, a door ring and it was like a weird time, like at nine o'clock on a Saturday or something. And uh, I went to get the door. Who is it? Your neighbor. Now, I know a couple of my neighbors. This not was not one of them. And so I opened the door and I'm like, hi, how are you? What's your name? She just starts walking in. <clears throat> she goes past me. I'm like, did you recognize her? No. And she told me her name. I think there was some kind of language barrier. Does not make it any better. And so she walks by me and, and Libby and Hennessy, my husband, were, were in the kitchen, which is like, I have a small apartment. As soon as you walk in, you walk through one thing and you're in the kitchen. And so I scream from behind her. I'm like, ah, this is our neighbor. <clears throat> because I don't want them to suddenly see a stranger walking in in front of me. So Libby, of course, the play for, oh, hi, nice to meet you. She blows past Libby and she's like, the ball, it's outside. And I'm like, uh, okay. And I, I'm like, all right, I'll open the door. She goes to open the door and it's locked. And I'm like, you're not going to just figure out the locks. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, hold on. I go. She's like, here it is. She picks up the ball. It was her dog's ball that she must have thrown over our fence or whatever. And then oh. she, she, she just walks, storms out. And she was like, quote, nice about it. Because there was right. nothing not nice other than like, you can't just walk through somebody's right. house. Everything else was very fine about you. And then I kind of said, that, that's my ball, actually. Right. <laughs> yeah, no. And and like, that's... Thanks for not killing yourself. I don't know. That was very right. strange. The woman who's owned the apartment, 87 years old. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to die before me. Right. Well, why would you do that? That really is a very particular thing to yeah. do. So, so why would you do that? It's There's many places to get balconies. Maybe you're, you don't want to change your mind. You know what I mean? By the time I find an escalator, maybe I'll, my brain will be okay. I'm, I'm on the side of the building that doesn't have the balconies. These assholes. Yeah. But also, you're like, you know, maybe when you kill yourself, you're like, well, I don't want it to take like a week for somebody to find me. So let me. But you're <laughs> jumping off a balcony. I'll be right below here. Yeah. Someone else will find you. And I'm wondering like what goes on in that person's head. Well, I'm including somebody because the, where I land, like someone's going to find me. So this woman will start calling the cops ahead of time. Like, what is it? Right. Why this apartment? This is what's going to be her question for the rest of her life. Wow. So wow, for two she's weeks. Yeah. And she's nervous anytime somebody uses her balcony now. Uh, <laughs> can I just check the view? No, no one's checking the view. There's police tape around it that I put up. Oh, yeah. Now she has to put up with all the police. All right. All right now's a good time to tell you about life insurance. Oh, Jesus. Policy genius. <laughs> Do you have life insurance? If you don't, why not? Well, because it's too expensive, right? Or you think it's too much of a hassle. Huh? No, 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 no. Go to policygenius.com for the best online life insurance marketplace, period. The most accurate quotes from the top A-rated life insurance companies. They have placed, A-rated? That's like the first one. They have placed over $5 billion in life insurance for people like you. Very simple, user-friendly website to shop and compare all the top-rated life insurance companies. That gives you the best options, okay? So go to policygenius.com. Go there today. Save over 70% off prices for life insurance. When life insurance is uh, compete for your business, well, that's when you save money, isn't it? P-O-L-I-C-Y-G-E-N-I-U-S dot com. Policy genius. Zero jargon. Zero sales pressure. And zero hassle. I always want him to not read the, like, how to spell genius. <laughs> I just think that's funny. You know how to spell it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> life insurance made easy. Free quote. Zero hassle. Peace of mind. By the way, genius is spelled odd like beautiful because if you spell it right, it means you obviously mean it. You know what I mean? That's why they did that. 
Uh, don't wait. Go to policygenius.com today. Okay. Uh, the Oscars uh, are coming out. We recorded this on uh, Sunday night, so and the show will be up before the Oscars air. So if you heard this right now, you can quickly go to keithandthegirl.com and play along between Nick Turner, myself, and Chemda. <laughs> I bet them $5, I think. And see, I'll, I'll, pl- I'll place a bet with you. Oh, yeah? How much you want to go? $5. $5 it is. I only have $5, too. I didn't see any of the movies. <laughs> I didn't see but, very many either. But I feel like I know. Well, Kenta's point is that Nick and I did see all the movies, but now it can mess with us emotionally. Whereas Kenda. Oh, so you just don't see them, <laughs> so you're not sad? <laughs> no, no. She, so that it doesn't affect her brain. Like, she doesn't well, vote with her heart. Well, the Academy uh. doesn't vote by, like, what's the best everything. They vote by, like, a bunch of other shit. So I know the other shit. Mm. Right? I don't know. But it's a $5 well, bet. Well, because guys are so emotional. <laughs> they are, actually. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at just the uh, best picture, for example. I picked Manchester by the Sea. Nick says it's La La Land. Nick studies this. What did he I say? He actually references. Akhemda wrote in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. I wish it would be Moonlight. I know it won't be, but that was such a tremendous movie. Akhemda can get out for $6 right now if she wants to. Moonlight, <laughs> I did not like that third act when he's an adult. A lot of people said that. Yeah, because it dragged to me what happened to the caregivers. I will assume that the, the man died, but what happened to the woman? There, there's... There's only three characters. Let me know what happened to them. Yeah. Thank you. I get it. So I can't vote for that. I'm sorry. I hear it's life changing, and I know there's a lot of minorities in it. He's so handsome. He is gorgeous. <laughs> he is gorgeous. What did you bet, Nick? Did you guys bet? No. Oh, you I don't, don't want to so. bet against him? He knows. He, he talks to bookies and stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, he talks to bookies to give his suggestion. No, he got <laughs> one more right than there were categories last year. <laughs> 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 Are you betting Liz Quiz again? He bets her all the time, and then they talk shit on Twitter. It's very fun. Uh, we can do if there's time between you know now and the awards in about an hour. I don't know. She's already talking shit on the forums. No, so. she, she doesn't mind. She doesn't mind. She's foreign. I don't know what kind of how they study it over there, but she knows stuff. I did see the movie Get Out. That is, it just came out, but so far, one hundred percent critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's a horror movie. Yeah. What? People are. I just saw. I just read an article before I left home about how all these people are calling it crazy racist, and so they're trying to give it like half a star. Oh, really? Just to bring it down. But yeah. Well, yeah. everybody it, I know that's seen it loved it. It it's it is good. Yeah. It is very good. And when it comes to the racist part, surprise, spoiler, it's the white people that are racist <laughs> that look like the assholes. You know, uh, I did enjoy it. It's Peel from Key and Peel. Yeah. He made the movie of all of all movies. You know, you think you'd make a comedy or something. But uh, yeah, I did enjoy it, and I'm not a horror movie person. Yeah, me neither. Now, something else that came out, a movie called Collide, and I think it's because all these cars keep colliding. And normally, I get bored by car crashes and car races. I loved it, and I see it gets a 19% from critics on Rotten Tomatoes. Never even heard of Collide. Once, yeah, what made you see it? Once the, I, I saw a promo for it, and it has uh, Anthony Hopkins, uh, some other older actor that you'll enjoy, or, you know, the two troublemakers. I thought it was so, and, and Anthony Hopkins can read a phone book. He's so interesting. Uh, I so love when it. people say, like, how did you go in to see the movie? You can change your mind about that, huh? I, I go, I sit down. That's how I go in. I went in today with a, with a coat. <laughs> that's how I went in to see this movie. So if you want to enjoy it, go in with a coat. But you, you saw that there was 19% on Rotten Tomato before you went into that movie, right? I saw it when it first came out, so I don't think I even knew it was nineteen percent. Were you like, "Ugh, I'll go see this movie because I'm out of movies"? I'm just—it looked good to me. Oh, okay. It looked good enough to me. And w- yes, the main guy's a little bit of a bore, but once the action starts, uh, I'm good with it. I liked it a little. Nineteen is silly. They're making a fucking point. A mm. hundred for a horror movie in nineteen when cars crash. <laughs> Come on now. I break it down, Keith. <laughs> it doesn't seem right to me. Nineteen when cars crash. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred percent to go, boo, right, and scare me. <laughs> well, Hemda, well, I did that. Hemda celebrated her anniversary, her wedding anniversary. Happy thank anniversary! You. Thank you, thank you. You know how much you you love when people are in love. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not the it's not that I don't like the love. I just don't want to see evidence of it <laughs> manifested. <laughs> We're pretty gross. Pretty gross. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Take yeah. It back. <laughs> so where'd you go? Um, so we went to a place that now I don't want to call them out because I'm not going to say nice things, but. Uh, there's a re- now we don't go to a lot of restaurants anymore because we're done. Like I feel like we can cook everything better at home. You know, it's just 
it's a waste of time and money, but like you just every once in a while you want that experience, right? So it's our anniversary. We're like, nah, this is when you spend the big bucks. So we go to um, a restaurant that has the word lasagna in the title and house salt, <laughs> right? So she goes to this place. <laughs> And they have all different kinds of, let's say, lasagna. Of lasagna house. I've been there. Right, lasagna house. (laughs) Of lasagna house. (laughs) So of lasagna house offers all these different kinds of lasagna. So Penda, who doesn't love lasagna, right? Well, I figure this is like... a great choice then. (laughs) I just, I I actually really do love lasagna. I mostly don't um, get it off restaurants. I think most people just fuck it up because the the um noodle is too soft or like the ingredients they sort of take for granted that there's so many heavy ingredients in there and it's, it's pasta so how are you not gonna like it which i believe in but anyway we order first of all very small restaurant you could see the beginning to the end you know from it so you could see the waiters all the time uh very narrow and long um and then so you can actually hear the waiters and they don't care that you can these waiters are obviously like career waiters they've been there for a while um, and they look, I don't know how, but career waiters, you assume that they make like a little bit more money because, you know, they usually work at pricier restaurants, which this one was not the priciest, but it it was a, a decent amount. And a lot of people were drinking, which I think where they make the money, but they always look schlubby. You know what I mean? Yep. They're always wearing like the same black pants and white button down shirt that they wore like 10 years ago or 20 years ago when they got hired. And um, it's like half talked because that's their, you know, it's like I'm wearing a white button down shirt so I can't look schlubby, you know, to them. Like it's that kind of shit. There are two waiters and they're arguing publicly right in front of the table. Like just like, well, I thought you had that. And I'm just like, eh, should I ask you for something right now? And then the one waiter like goes outside like to breathe because he can't stand this other waiter anymore. So the ambiance wasn't the best. And then we order a lasagna, at least one, right? Because you're supposed to. I swear to God, this tasted like Chef Boyardee meat filled ravioli you know that like very pasty now don't get me wrong once a year i like to get it i eat half of it like while it's still cold throw the other in the microwave and call myself an adult but we're in a place where you probably want us to behave and this is not causing me good behavior can you believe it lasagna is in the title that's what it tasted like well some of these restaurants you know they have to be thinking they know that the food's not that good you know it's like like theme park food it's like they know and they're like, I don't care. They just don't for whatever reason. They don't care. It's they don't think it'll I'm I'm in Times Square. Uh you're you're gonna stop here anyway. You're not gonna check the better business borough. You're gonna get it's a house it's a house full of lasagna. Right. You had yeah, your yeah, fun, that's you, the end of it. Right. 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 You're, you're not gonna be a regular at House of Lasagna. Right. The problem was is the rest of the food that we ordered was like a thousand times better than the lasagna. So they just need to change their name. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like anything but lasagna. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, that would be a great title. So, all right, all right. So whatever. So with all that ambiance and like they fucked up the lasagna, we're not going to have dessert there. We decide to go to our own neighborhood, stop by somewhere, pick up, you know, a piece of cake or something and go. And so, of course, we get to that place and we're smoking first outside and uh, there's a menu outside. So now we could look at the menu while we're smoking. We decide what we want. I go inside so that he can keep smoking. I go in and I'm like, oh, uh, I don't see the gelato choices that were outside. She's like, oh, it doesn't match. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I pick one. Everybody that I- <laughs> keeps telling us that. <laughs> I pick one that I see. I go outside. I'm like, okay, I'm going to smoke. Just order me like the chocolate gelato and pick whatever you want. And the woman, when I said, um, you know, you don't have the outside, she said, we don't have the same. And then she just like let me stand around and didn't address me and didn't look at me and just did her thing. When he went in, tell me if this is hitting on. When he came back out, he was like, she is so chatty. Is that why you sent me in there? Because, oh, oh my God. God. And I was like, no, she didn't say a word other than the things. She that- didn't even tell you which things they had right. and didn't have. Right, right, right. She was just like, no. And I'm just like, hmm. And I'm like, what? Like what? And she's like, she goes, <laughs> she goes to him. You should totally try this pistachio cake. I just made it. Take a look at it. She brings it out. She's like, oh, we usually have this. She describes every piece of cake. To- he didn't ask one question. I asked a question. So she's going on and on to this guy. And, and he comes outside and he's like, oh, my God, she talks so much. Like, she goes, and, and then I go in again because I'm supposed to order something else. She says nothing to me again. He goes in again. This is by ourselves. We're just standing outside. But obviously, we're, she could see us outside. Obviously, we're together. He goes in. She starts chatting him up again. Oh, you should come back for this. I made this this morning. This is how I make it. My recipes, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, hmm. 
Right. Yeah. That's it's, interesting. Happy it, anniversary. It's Hennessy mm. one of these people, though, that doesn't realize that he's yapping. Mm-hmm. And so oh, I, I'm picturing like, <laughs> yeah, why would the gelato match? It doesn't have to match. I mean, you're, you're probably busy all day as it is. And then gets out of there like, man, she would not shut up. I get that. I could see that happening, except yeah. the blunt was lit. So neither one of us want to be in there. We just want I to see. order and keep right. smoking. So no, but. Uh, but then you went back in there with him. So then you I never to went in it. with him. Oh, but, you didn't. But we like the outside. We were together outside and the window is right outside oh, of her counter. So it's like you see us and you keep seeing us switch like we're obviously together. And uh, but I, I don't for some reason. I like it. <laughs> you like what? I like when people hit on him. OK. Like not in front of me and not our friends and not like, you know, but I just mm. I'm just like. That's nice. Because then you don't know. Like, maybe your partner's too old and you don't see it. <laughs> so it's a nice reminder. You're like, no, okay, I did good. I did good. All right. I told, like, I... As long as he didn't just start coming home with different gelato every day. Right. right. Like, <laughs> oh, I went to see your buddy. Yeah. <laughs> she will not shut up. So I'm at her house. She's showing me how the gelato's made fresh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm scared to say shit like that. Like, I like when people hit on my husband. Because I don't like it. But... And no, the catches and I get, I get what you, you know mean. what I mean. Like I'm just like I totally get why you're into this dude. Like I get the same thing. So it's like Meh, I get it. Were you making out with somebody else? You like that? <laughs> That's something you like. <laughs> Come on now. I uh, hope I was clear. <laughs> the White House Correspondents' Dinner is coming up the end of uh, April. Yeah, I'm not going. If the president's not going, <laughs> so the president says, "Hey, it's by the way, this is a dopey thing, right? It's it, it's with the press and." The president make jokes that are always out of line, right? Right. Yeah, you have George Bush going, uh, look at this. This is the room of the haves and the have mores. Ha, 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 we're burning this country. Uh, he, he does a video where he, Bush, again, he looks underneath uh, his bed and goes, now where are those weapons of mass destruction? What are we joking about? So Donald Trump says, you know what? I'm The, the press is treating me so badly, I'm not going to do this fun thing. Now, obviously, that means he is going to do it, right? I don't, I don't know. think so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. so. But here's here's the thing. Like, oh, he's kind of right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, those are not funny jokes. But as we remember, Obama killed Is that him. why he said he wasn't going to do it? The thing is, is whatever he says and whatever he means, right. what's the difference? And so he could, he says because the press is treating him like shit. Right. But that's garbage. And, and I think he's nervous because he can't possibly do this because... When he reads, if you see, he like takes his finger and like follows the thing. And don't get me wrong, I do it too, but I'm not the president and I I read terribly aloud. But he he is so nervous when he's reading. When he's reading a teleprompter, he's very nervous and he's obviously coached. Yeah. And when, when he's reading in paper in front of him, he's very nervous and his He was really bad along. at that event that he did with Hillary Clinton, the one where they do with like the Catholic charities, the one. Do you remember that? Right, and they're being a little jokey. And they're supposed yeah. to be jokey. He was he just couldn't tell a joke. It was really yeah. bad. Well, you can't so tell a that. joke if you're not used to it and you're reading. You can't. Yeah. That's very, very hard. And you have no sense of humor right. about yourself. Right. There's, right. Yeah. there's no, right, it's De Niro in this latest movie. There's no sense of humor, and he then Trump makes some kind of joke. It's not really at his wife's expense, but she's included, and then she goes, and then he looks over at her and was like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble for that one, huh? And this look on her face is like, baby, I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Who the no, fuck knows? I'll never forget because I was watching. I was like, "Is this really happening?" Because it's like he's sitting next to the Archbishop of, of New York, right? And he gets up. And he's like, "This is a hell of a dinner." I'm like, "Really? Are you serious?" <laughs> that was his opening. I was like, "Come on, guys, guys, you can't be friends with." But he is. Uh, don't forget, Kenda has her show. What's my name? The spinoff show in your VIP package, and the latest one is out now with Chanel Ali. Oh, this was amazing. We both teared up at some points. Mm-hmm. Are you yeah. curious about the foster care system? Chanel opens up about her experiences on the latest What's My Name. Allison writes, I loved Chanel before this show and love her even more now. As a public child welfare social worker and human being, hearing about her experience in the system hurt my heart. Mm-hmm. I want to applaud her courage for sharing her story. You're an exceptional woman, Chanel. Thanks for the show. Hemda. It was amazing. It was amazing, and I was looking forward to the interview, but also I knew it was going to be somewhat heavy, but she is. Her flow on everything, on stage, in an interview, you know, we're talking about very, very, very heavy shit, and she keeps on track, and, you know, even when we're uh, tearing up a bit, she's, you know, she finds the positive in things, so even though it was a heavy interview, it wasn't like, woe is me, it wasn't like, this is why I'm a terrible human, you know, she's a wonderful person who we talked about, like, 
horrible times in her life. So it was right. incredible. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a My Name is Keith. <laughs> Keith was like, oh, you got deep shit out of her? Let's get her drunk. <laughs> With Chanel. <laughs> and I'm going to be feeding her this candy I'm hearing about. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Aaron Jackson. The website is AaronJackson.net. So what's funny, it's a network. It is. It's my own. Uh, she'll also be in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Laugh Fest, March 9th through the 11th. But go to the website, see all the dates, see what's happening. Uh, the Twitter account is at EJ the Comic. Mm -hmm. EJ the Comic. And you see what's doing. She was just in a car accident the other day on Valentine's Day. There's oh a lot gosh. going on. It was. What happened right then? Oh, man. Guy I'm crashed. Gonna a long story short. Okay. So, uh, like in January, I go to do a show in Syracuse. My my engine fails while I'm in Syracuse, um, but there's a recall on my engine, so I have to leave my car in Syracuse. Engines are on back order for like three, four months, so I'm in a rental. Now Syracuse is about four hours from Syracuse here. Syracuse is about four hours mm -hmm. from here. So they put me in a rental, which is incidentally they gave me the rental. They gave me my exact car as a rental. Mm. <laughs> like I was like, so I took it back to the dealership. I'm like, is this under recall too? Because if right. I drive this home, so then I'm in the rental from the car that, and then somebody hits me in the rental Ugh. and smashes the rental. Not smashes it, but like I have an accident on Valentine's Day on my way to my show in the rental. Right. So now I'm in a, a second rental. And as a comic, uh, nobody believes your stories. Oh, I'm just in a car crash. <laughs> like, yeah, we're right, in a right. And on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. And I um I broke up with that guy like a week before. I'm like I broke up with my mm. boyfriend. I had an accident on my way here. Da -da. Right, right. I'm glad you're in love though. Like, <laughs> Perfect. That's kind of how it went. That's why when people go, you can't make that shit up. I always go, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. And I could put butterfly wings on it. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. really make that up. Well, you see, I like these comics that you know they forget how they're going to start their stand up, and they make you. They most often make up these stories. That of course they weren't in the car crash that day. They didn't just break up that day. But they'll start like, oh, man, it's uh, it's tough, man. Everything's shit. You know, and actually, things are great now. This morning, I <laughs> <laughs> well, just right. breathe for a second. I'm super conscious of that. Right. <laughs> really you guys, that. download our app if you want to see the pictures associated with this episode. You want to see um, Aaron's picture. You want to see all the information and all everything that has to do with this episode and our entire network. Go to keithandthegirl.com slash app.